In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about the fundamental theorem of calculus. And what calculus helps us do is determine the slopes of curved lines. For example, if I wanted to know the slope at any point for the line y is equal to x squared, notice that the slope or the rate of change is not constant on that curve. Calculus is based on the fact that if you have a curved line and you let two points become very close together or the distance become almost zero, I can draw a line between those two points and then I can determine the slope like I would any straight line. So let's imagine I have two points on the parabola, point A and point B. Point A is located at x1, y1, and point B at x2, y2. If I calculate the slope of that line, I'm going to have some type of error, which is indicated by the yellow. But if I let B, the point B, get really close to the point A, really, really close, let these two points get really close together, move A closer, and I continue to move these closer and closer together. And now I zoom in even further and bring these points even closer together. So the distance between these two points is almost zero. So now when I draw a line, a tangent line, and I zoom in even further. I'm going to zoom some more. So I'll zoom in even further. So if I draw my parabola back in, I've zoomed in on a little teeny piece right there, right there. So you see the tangent line where that line just touches. And so I've zoomed in, and what it begins to happen is the tangent line or the black line and the parabola are almost exactly the same line. Now I can calculate the slope with almost no error. The slope is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. This is equal to the rise over the run. We can also write this as the change in y divided by the change in x. That little symbol, the delta, means change in. In calculus, often the delta, the d in delta is used to mean change in, so it's a change in y with respect to the change in x. So now if I take these two points, again, and the first point I'm going to call x, and the second point I'm going to call x plus h. And h is just some distance between those two points. Now if I let h, or the distance between those two points, approach zero, if that h get really close to zero, that's what I'm doing. I'm zooming in on that line. So if I want to calculate the slope, I need to know the y values. So when y is equal to x squared, and x equals x, kind of weird, I put x in that equation, then y is equal to x squared, obviously. Now, if I plug in x plus h into that equation, y is equal to x plus h squared. So now, I have the rise over the run, 
is my slope, which is that distance. So the rise is x plus h squared minus x squared. The run is going to be that distance. So I have x plus h minus x. And now I'm going to simplify this equation. This equation right there. I'm going to simplify that. You probably see this in your classes for calculus class. Usually the first or second day of class you'll see this. Now this is equal to, I'm going to rewrite the numerator or the top part, divided by x minus x plus h. I just rewrote the equation around a little bit. Those two x's cancel out. x minus x is 0. Now the equation becomes x plus h squared minus x squared divided by h. Now I'm going to continue on. So I'm going to take x plus h squared and I'm going to expand that out. So I have x plus h times x plus h minus x squared divided by h So x times x is x squared, I'll write that, plus x times h, which is plus xh. Then now I have x times h again for another xh. And finally, h times h, which is h squared, minus x squared, all divided by h. Now, that x squared and that x squared, they cancel out. And that xh plus xh, I can write as 2xh, plus the h squared divided by h, Notice there's an H in all these terms, H there, and an H, and an H. I'm going to factor one of those H's out. This is equal to 2XH plus H squared. I'm going to take that H there and drag it out all the way out of the equation. So now I have H times 2X plus H divided by H. That H and that H cancel out. So now I'm left with 2x plus h. Now remember, h is really, really close to 0, so we can pretty much just ignore it here. So the slope, or the first derivative, is equal to 2x. And it's often written as dy dx. And now, if I go all the way back to my parabola, this says at any particular point, the slope of that parabola is 2x. So the slope of the tangent line is equal to 2 times that negative 3, which is equal to negative 6. So the slope is negative 6. When x is equal to negative 1, the slope is equal to, the slope of that tangent line is equal to 2 times negative 1 or negative 2. The slope at 0, which I'm drawing right now, or a horizontal line, this is an important concept to remember, the slope is equal to 2 times 0 or 0. So now, 
let's imagine that x is 2. And the slope of that tangent line is 2 times 2 for 4. The slope is 4. The way I determined the slope of this parabola, the slope of y is equal to x squared, is I took two points and I let these two points get really close together. So the distance between these two points was almost zero. Then I drew a tangent line. And then I calculated the slope of that tangent line, of that straight line, which is simply the rise over the run. In subsequent videos, I'm going to do the same for negative x squared and also x cubed.